What's good, your boy G? KOP to God. OPTV blog. We're here back with another one. Now, I wasn't, um, I told myself, no, G, don't waste your time doing a, a vlog about this bullshit. Um, I'm 30 plus. I'm from the Bronx, New York. And um, the era of rap that I grew up listening to, you had to be nice. You had to have wordplay. Um, yeah, you had to have a hot production, a hot, you know, a hot beat and all that, but it was mainly about what you were saying. You understand? Um, I can go back to talk about battles between rappers and, 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 and rap that go back to um, Kumo D, Busy B, and LL Ice T. Uh, I could go further back to like Zulu Nation, they the Cold Cut, you know, Cold Cuss Brothers and the Furious. You no, know, I can get, I can, get, I can really, you know, get in some shit. You know, what I'm saying w with the knowledge of, of, of fucking hip hop that I got in this in this head of mine. But um, I remember at one time, um, I was in high school at this time. This is right around the time um, Biggie and Tupac got, you know, got into their little shit. And um, Tupac's hit him up track. He he fucked big up. He fucking went for the head, and he threw his man on it to go get that big and his lady and his crew. You know what I'm saying? And other rappers from out of New York, and and a few other rappers that he got at too. That was from Cali. Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Chino XL. He's from Cali. It's a West Coast nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I've I've heard. Good, 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 good battle rap records. You know what I'm saying? I've heard real good diss tracks. You know what I mean? Al, Al Cannabis. I mean, we can go on and on. Even when fucking EPMD broke up, them two motherfuckers was, was dissing each other on track. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I can go on and on about hearing good diss tracks. Um, Drake dropped two joints, charged up, and back to back. Um, charged up to me, I didn't really like that too much that wasn't my cup of tea that was a little bit too slow for me wasn't aggressive enough wasn't hard enough i'm a bronx nigga i'm a street nigga i like to hear some street shit you ain't necessarily got to kill somebody on your track but nigga, you get you get at them you pull a card you talk about shit they don't do that they talk about they doing talk about their girl you understand and um i didn't hear that on that charge up joint back to back came a lot more better um he stated some facts. He made fun of him, teased him. You know, trigger finger, turn to Twitter, Twitter fingers. He said he liked to see when, 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 when chicks, his wife and niggas. You know, he got at him. You know, it was funny. I like, I appreciated that. Uh, we waited and waited for Meek to drop his joints. Uh, got to the point where niggas was shitting on Flex, shitting on Hot 97. Got to the point where niggas over at 105.1. Gave Meek Dunk here today. I mean, they fucking destroyed Meek all over the IG, Facebook, and and, and, and Twitter. Like, they, they fucking destroyed this dude. And uh, in the back of my head, I'm like, yo, nah. Is this a publicity stunt? Do these niggas, are they working together? I mean, because Meek a Philly nigga, that's a Philly nigga, man. You know what I mean? He, 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 you can't say what you're going to say or what you're going to do to a Philly nigga and think you're going to get away with it. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Because I know a lot of Philly niggas, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Philly too. Shout out to Toronto too. You know what I'm saying I don't know nobody in Toronto, but I know a lot of niggas in Philly, right? Uh, Meek finally dropped something last night, uh, and um, it wasn't what I thought it would be. Um, he really wasn't saying nothing. Um, he said something about him getting peed on by Ti's man. Which I'm come to find out that somebody spilled a drink or some something splashed up out of a you know what I mean he apologized. Maybe nigga peed and it splashed up. It's disgusting anyway. I still would have slapped that nigga probably. I don't know, but um, that's not even <laughs> that big of a deal now. My main thing is um, through this whole little dissing and whatever you want to call it. This, this is battle rap now. Um, does Meek Mill have a chance if he come out with another track? It sounds like that track is not finished neither. If you listen to the end of it, when he said uh, some Ja Rule and 50 shit, it's still more of that song left. 
I mean, if, if, if y'all know anything about uh, going to the studio and, and shit like that, there's a lot more left to that song. They just cut it off right there. So I think Meek had something else, but what he put out with the Undertaker theme and even through my man Quentin Miller, I think his name is, uh, threw a little something at uh, him when he was rapping on it. Um, was that enough? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, my question is, though, does Drake write his shit? Do we care if he write his shit? Um, is Meek a good enough MC to last in this verbal war that they about to happen? It's not over yet. I think Drake got something else to come out. And, and that one is going to be crazy. You understand? Meek Mill got to come on. Um, not taking nothing away from him. I think he can't keep up with Drake. I'm not going to front. You can't get body by a singing nigga, like he said. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, we're not hearing it right now, man. Um, that track from me wasn't good enough. And um, it has to be good enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Um, right now, Drake is up 2-0. Um, Meek's track was kind of like one of those darts that missed the, the target. It hit on the fucking, on the 40. I, you know what I mean? It, it, you know, from... You know, you know how the dartboard is. You know, it goes from five, ten, fifty. That shit hit hit on the forty. It, it ain't even getting nowhere. It ain't even get up to a sixty-five. You know, sixty-five is average. That shit is a forty. Um, so I I I I want to know, is it even worth it coming out with something else? Being being that you know you lost already because of that back to back. They won't stop playing that shit. They won't stop playing it. Understand? So is it worth it, me? And um, do you even care that he's getting at you like this? I think you're trying to sell some more records. And I'm not mad at you. Do your thing, my nigga. Do your thing. Um, but, like, is it worth it? Because this, this nigga, Drake, could possibly put your your career or your situation you have on a little standstill a little bit. You know what I'm saying? To the point where when you come out with shit, nobody's going to want to hear it because they're like, ah, oh, this nigga is whack. He's saying the same shit. Like, now's the time to show us that fucking corn roll meek mill that didn't have his hair done in about three months and shit. That's what it looked like when you had those corn rolls. It looked like a fucking corn roll wig. That's the meek mill we want, the nigga. The corn roll wig meek mill on a fucking strip in Philly with cars riding by and y'all niggas is looking behind y'all back because y'all don't know if niggas gonna come up there and shoot y'all. That's the meek mill I want. I don't want the Nicki Minaj meek mill. I don't want the one that joked with Kevin Hart and did snaps and shit. I don't know. I don't want, I don't want the sunglasses, Meek Mill, nigga. I want the corn roll braid with the fucking head sticking up, Meek Mill, to show his face and let, and, and let niggas know why you worked hard to where, you know what I mean, and to, to, to get to where you at. I, I, I appreciate what, you, what you've done in the past, and I appreciate what, the music you've done now. And you don't sound like you, you changed it, nothing like that. But that track is just not enough, my nigga. So is it even worth it to even make another joint? To even keep coming at Drake? Because Drake got plenty of ammunition, being that he don't write his own shit. You feel me?